So season 14 officially gets underway here under the sunshine at the home of champions Karting Genk in Belgium. It is the first of six senior Rotax heats. It is groups A versus B this time out. So without further ado, let's take you through the first starting grid of the weekend. On pole position, Nick Cuppens from uh, Belgium, and he will have uh, FIA World Karting Champion Callum Bradshaw alongside Luca Lystra from Belgium and Juhov Walton and round out the top two rows. Then it's the UAE's Lachlan Robinson and Belgium's Milan Coppens rounding out row number three. Storm Bra from the Netherlands and Eha Turka, the sole Turkish representative here this weekend, rounding out row number four. Baz Janssen and Sam, Bergs Sam Bergstein make it an all-Dutch row five, completing the top ten, followed by James Lingard from Great Britain, Ralf Winkel from the Netherlands, Luca Thiel and Thomas Martins from Germany and Belgium, respectively. They round out row seven. David Lackner and Luna Blum, that's row eight. Noah Hip and Mika Barthelemy round out row nine with Paul Fochimer and Beer Dorestein rounding out the top 20, completing the 34 strong in this heat will be Clementine Bunoir, Jens van der Heyden, Emily de Hoys, Adrian Labuda. Then you also have Anthony Bulou, Daniel Hunt, Flint Schering, Linus Henson, Colin Van Lameren, Bastian Balage, Yuri Tenhef, Max Busch, Stefan Lemuno, and Lucas Schoenmakers will start 34th on the grid. So seven minutes plus an additional lap set on the timer. And this will be the first minutes of 320 minutes, well, of the, uh, well, what is it, quite a few minutes of racing action, well over four and a half hours of competition, as it's now time to get things underway. The drivers now start to hurtle their way through into turn 10 at formation lap speed, but this is where things are going to get rather interesting. So it is Cuppens from Bradshaw on the front row of the grid. They're the ones that have to take, dictate the... Uh, starting part of this race but there is a couple of stragglers at the back let's see what happens looks like we are off and away for the first time this weekend nick cuppens goes defensive on callum bradshaw luca lystra going up the inside trying to go side by side with the brit but bradshaw makes it through going into turns three and four for the first time Juho valton and lock uh, in fourth lock and robinson has just lost out to milan coppens on the first exchange as coppens trying to wrestle his way oh there's been a couple of carts going around and it looks like valton and also got spat out on the entrance into the europa line so that has allowed lock and robinson to get back up i think now that is going to be fourth position for the dubai based driver six minutes and 25 seconds to go and at the minute nick cuppen still leads from callum bradshaw luca lystra lachlan robertson milan coppens that rounds out the top five so very shortly we'll find out who those uh, which carts were uh, literally coming together going through exit of turn six so the top three covered by just over three tenths as there is Bradshaw. He's got up the inside of Cuppens and Lystra has managed to get through too. So the current FIA world champion makes his way through into the lead of the race with just under six minutes remaining on the clock plus an additional lap. So Callum Bradshaw leads from Luca Lystra. Nick Cuppens now demoted down to third place. Lachlan Robinson's got some time to find over the next couple of laps or so. And whilst he was battling away with the likes of uh, Juho Valtonen, who's down in sixth place behind Milan Coppens, uh, Ralf Finkel, drivers that have dropped down the order. Looks like Storm Bro has uh, tumbled down the order. Colin Van Lameren as well. Lucas Schoenmakers up into 27th position. So these drivers now really pushing. Robinson has closed the gap to the top three. It was nine and a half tenths last time around goes down by just over three tenths as Lystra looked up the inside of Bradshaw there going through into turns one and two Cuppens keeping with them and Juho Valtonen has just set the fastest lap time of anybody a 54.391 and 90,000 slower was Lachlan Robinson from the UAE as uh, Robinson now looking to close in on Nick Cuppens and he is bringing along with him Milan Coppens and Juho Valtonen Luca Thiel has got uh, James Lingard, Ralf Inkel and Thomas Martins for the close company. They close out the top 10 and then you've also got Luna Blom. She's charged her way forward up to 11th position. So the top 30 after immediate intermediate classification today will head into 
uh, the uh, A finals, pre final and final. As now there is the move there from Cuppens up the inside of Lystra. Robinson showing good pace in free practice yesterday. Actually finished top of the timesheets for free practice five in, his, uh, in the evens. And was showing in the top five to top ten. And now this is going to really start igniting the battle lines being drawn here at Karting Gang. And there is dramas for that. Looks to be the 371, I believe. I couldn't really catch that out. It was a 37 at the front of it. That could be Yuri Tenhev, possibly. Or no, David Lackner. That looks like a Sodi cart there. So Bradshaw starting to, to stretch a little bit of an initial advantage over the rest of the field. Nick Cuppens keeping those behind him. And it is the Nick Cuppens train. Forget the um, the train name that was uh, given to one Enzo Trulli. Uh, sorry, uh, Jano Trulli back in the day. His son Enzo is competing in single seaters now. But Robinson waiting for his time to strike. There is a yellow flag coming out of turn five. And that will be heading onto the yellow plan. So something has gone awry there as oh now there's somebody walking away off of turn six so clementine benoit in the 302 so there's a lot of drivers it looks like it was actually yuri tenhef there that uh, had a massive moment and the steering not exactly working as it should do but lachlan robinson gets himself up into third place past luca lystra milan coppens and johan valtonen are there james lingard has managed to get past his way past uh his way past uh, jj racing's uh, young german hotshot luca thiel and has gotten up into seventh and is closing them down juho valton and has got the fastest lap of the race but you can now see that valton and closing on coppens that is for fifth position and the Finns sends it up the inside through turn six onto the other Palan, neatly gets in front of the belgian Callum Bradshaw now has a seven-tenth of a second advantage over Nick Cuppens. That gap looks to be extending, but Cuppens looks to be coming under fire from Lachlan Robinson from the UAE. Luca Lystra in fourth position. So two Belgians in the top four, followed by a Finn. And then you can now add uh, James Lingard to that battle as well because he's closed rather quickly on to Milan Coppens. Luca Thiel is battling away with Ralph Winkel. Luna Blum is having to fend off uh, Thomas Martins in the 305. As Robinson waiting, biding his time. So at least he can make the move at the perfect opportunity and not allow Nick Cuppens to have a shot at throwing a counter attack at him. There goes Robinson up the inside. Oh, a little bit of a rub there from Lockie. Uh, up the inside goes Robinson. And on that particular occasion, Robinson had the gap there. It was it was fair game. He managed to get up the inside. So Robinson already showing uh, a very, very different uh, determination that we saw last season uh, in terms of the Euro Trophy. He was third in the overall classification behind two-time champion Matilda Olson and uh, teammate at KR Sport, Sean Butcher. Uh, so KR Sport locked out the final two steps on the rostrum. Bradshaw still leads. We go on to the penultimate lap. And uh, Robinson now has got his way past <laughs> Cuppens. And so uh, Robinson up into second position and has a bit of light between himself and Bradshaw. But I think to have a second place in your opening, opening heat, each driver will compete in three of the heats here today. As we have 10 seconds on the clock to go, Bradshaw leads from Robinson. Cuppens, Lystra, Valton and Coppens, Lingard. Luca Thiel, Ralf Inkel, and Thomas Martins rounding out the top ten. So Yuri Tenhaf, Stefan Lemonor, and Buzz Janssen. That must have been that multi-cart pile-up a bit earlier on. Clementine Benoit out of the race. Callum Bradshaw comes out of turn 12. So the strawberry racing driver will take the uh, final lap board. The first one of the weekend. We have 24 races over the course of the next uh, less than 36-hour period here at Karting Genk. Robinson still keeping it nice and tidy nice and defensive not allowing Nick Cuppens to get past Luca Lystra Juho Valtonen and James Lingard rounding out the top 
six positions as the leader makes his way through turn seven off of the Europalan for the final time. Some great battling up and down the order. Emily de Hoys has made her way up to 18th. Uh, Lucas Schoenmacher has started from stone dead last up to 19th position. Ehad Turka has tumbled down the order in the meantime. Is Lingard trying to go up the inside of turn 10 on Valton and that's not going to happen. But after nine laps, Callum Bradshaw opens his winning account here this weekend as the strawberry racing driver crosses the start finish line. It's Lachlan Robinson from the UAE that takes second position. Nick Cuppens beats Luca Lystra to the chequered flag by 66 thousandths of a second. And Cuppens, as a result, takes third place. Luca Lystra takes fourth ahead of Juhal Valtonen from Finland. So that is uh, a Brit, an Emirati. Two Belgians and a Finn in the top five. James Lingard makes it two Brits in the top six. Luca Thiel from Germany in seventh ahead of Ralf Inkel with Thomas Martins and Austria's David Lackner rounding out the top ten. Top ten covered by just 5.3 seconds. So a good start to the weekend for Callum Bradshaw from the United Kingdom. So from 11th downwards, uh, Luda Blum takes 11th ahead of uh, the fr French duo of Paul Fochima and Noah Hip. Beer Dorostein of Sam Bergstein round out the top 15, representing the Netherlands. Mika Barthelemy and Anthony Bilou, 16th and 17th, ahead of Lucas Schoenmakers. Emily de Hoys and Linus Henson round out the top 20. Ehad Turka finishes in 21st, ahead of Flit Schuring, whose brother Morris just recently announced this week uh, that he'll be heading to the Porsche Career Cup Deutschland. Um, this week, uh, this season. So all the very best to Morris on his new endeavours. Uh, Stormbrauer, Daniel Hunt, Colin van Lameren, Jens van der Heiden, Max Busch, Adrian Labuda, Basil Balage. Chris, uh, looks like Milan Coppens parks it with uh, two laps to go in, and he's 30th. Juri Tenhef, Stefan Lemono, Buzz Janssen and Clementine Benoit were those that retired from the race.